now I'm just gonna answer a question by Suje Kumarji. I hope I'm pronouncing your name right. What is an ML AI learning path you would propose for a beginner like me? I believe there are many different libraries, frameworks, books, and resources that are directed to people who don't know anything about AI or machine learning in terms of coding. And at least for me, it took many, a few years to understand the underlying concepts. I think what's good is just read and keep looking at code, keep looking at programs, keep looking at what each algorithm does. And then you'll try to understand bit by bit the different categories there are, what types of algorithms, why were they created and how they work. There, it helps sometimes to go and say, okay, I'm just going to take a look at a glossary of terms. I'm just going to take a look at definitions of things and see what is a model, what is gradient descent, what is an image classifier, what is a segmentation network, all these things. Take a look as well at frameworks, what the different frameworks do and what they're good for. Maybe also read books, right? Books are intended for people who are in computer science, but also have introduction to concepts. And one thing that really helped me out is watching courses. So watching courses online, there is one that I would recommend that I'm halfway through. That is the Stanford CS231N course. That course goes through neural network, convolutional neural networks, but it also covers a lot of other stuff, a lot of computer vision problems and concepts, and also covers later more things, I think, like object detection, segmentation, and at least it talks about the overall concepts. Then there is this hands-on coding tutorial on the fast.ai website. Fast.ai is a Python library as well for computer vision and machine learning, but it really helps just going through the examples. I think the TensorFlow Tutorials website is really good as well. Some of the resources that I showed before, the ML5, JS, and P5, not P5, JS, but TensorFlow, JS, looking at those examples and maybe trying to build the small web tabs or web apps with, with simple things. And one of the things that tries or, or helps to understand machine learning a bit better is trying to download pre-trained models so models that already exist that have something a behavior that other people train them for and just trying to feed your own data to them just trying to see what they do the type of data they return how they work and uh, read about what complexities the training of those networks had and what do you have to do to retrain them? Can you do transfer learning on them? So can you start from something that's already done and just try to feed your own images? The purpose of machine learning is to have a model, an algorithm or an architecture type for, for a model that lets you train on data, which means you don't have to rewrite any code. So if a model works, it works well for what it does, but also is subject to not work if the data doesn't look like the data it was originally plan for, right? Something like Inception or ResNet are neural networks that have to do with image classification and they are optimized to work with photography. So if you have photos of vector drawings, maybe the accuracy won't be the same. But at the same time, you can get one of those networks and retrain it on your own data. You can also look at interfaces by the Magenta team at Google that they have done a lot of creative projects. And yeah, I would say the ML5, the Magenta projects are some of the ones for beginners to understand the underlying concepts. The first thing would be to understand for a beginner the high level concepts. So what machine learning is, the difference with AI and deep learning, reinforcement learning, image classification, object detection. A lot of these terms that are being overused, what does each one mean? How do they differ from the other? And once you do that, you will start realizing, okay, now I can go a bit deeper and maybe get hands-on coding. I don't really know if you know how to code, but if you know how to code, the best way is just to get to the Google 
tutorials and open the, the cold app versions and try to just run the Python code and change things here and there and try to start understanding. I'm also learning myself, so this is not something that, oh, I'm not an expert and he doesn't need to learn anything else. This is why I'm doing this project in the first place. So thanks a lot for your question.